Welcome to Platelet Origins. In this video, we will discuss megakaryocytes and the role of thrombopoietin in regulating platelet production. As we proceed through this video, we will discuss the following take-home points. Platelets are the cells that help maintain hemostasis. All platelets come from megakaryocytes, and megakaryocyte production is regulated by thrombopoietin. Let's look first at the platelet. The platelet is the primary cell that regulates hemostasis. It regulates hemostasis by stopping bleeding. The platelet is a nucleate. It means it has no nucleus. In the peripheral blood, the lifespan of a platelet is about seven to 10 days. The platelet works together with many other platelets. In fact, a healthy adult produces about 100 to 300 billion platelets a day. Let's take a step back and ask the question, where do platelets come from? Platelets come from a hematopoietic cell known as a megakaryocyte. Megakaryocytes in the bone marrow send out pseudopodia from which platelets are shed. But let's trace the platelet origin all the way to the hematopoietic stem cell. The multipotent hematopoietic stem cell gives rise to the megakaryocyte erythroid progenitor. As its name implies, the megakaryocyte erythroid progenitor gives rise to either an erythrocyte or megakaryocyte. Ultimately, cells that will differentiate into platelets become megakaryocyte colony-forming cells. These megakaryocyte colony-forming cells eventually develop into megakaryocytes, and the megakaryocyte gives rise to platelets. To progress from the megakaryocyte to the megakaryocyte colony-forming cell, to the platelet takes about five to seven days. Now let's look more closely at the megakaryocyte. Megakaryocytes undergo a process known as endomitosis. Endomitosis is a process in which the cell and the nucleus stop dividing, but DNA replication continues. As a result of continued DNA replication in the absence of nuclear or cellular division, megakaryocytes become polyploid. To be polyploid is to have one nucleus with many sets of chromosomes. Megakaryocytes can have 2 to 32 times the normal amount of DNA. As noted earlier, megakaryocytes are responsible for platelet production. During platelet production, ma mature megakaryocytes send out pseudopodia into the bone marrow sinusoids. Then, individual platelets bud off from the megakaryocyte and enter into the peripheral blood circulation. One megakaryocyte can produce about 1,000 to 3,000 platelets. The number of platelets in a person remains constant over their lifetime. Not, note also that the body maintains a constant platelet mass. This constant platelet mass refers to the amount of platelets circulating in the peripheral blood, and about a third of the platelet mass resides in the spleen. The peripheral blood platelet count decreases proportionally to the increase in the size of the spleen. Now, let's discuss platelet production regulation by thrombopoietin. The primary hormone responsible for platelet production is thrombopoietin. Let's represent this hormone with the letter T. Thrombopoietin has a major effect on all steps of megakaryocyte differentiation and maturation. To this end, Thrombopoietin promotes the growth of the megakaryocyte colony forming unit, increases endomitosis, inhibits apoptosis, and stimulates maturation. Thus, thrombopoietin decreases megakaryocyte death and increases megakaryocyte number, size, and ploidy. Megakaryocytes have a thrombopoietin receptor on their surface known as the C mepple receptor. The c mepple receptor binds thrombopoietin. Circulating levels of platelets are typically affected by the circulating platelet mass. This can happen because platelets also have the c mepple receptor with a high affinity for thrombopoietin such that they bind and clear thrombopoietin from the circulation. In this way, circulating platelets help determine the circulating thrombopoietin concentration. So, when there is an increased number of platelets, then there is a decrease, there's increased thrombopoietin clearance, and this leads to decreased thrombopoietin levels. 
As a result, the bone marrow responds with decreased megakaryocyte growth. Similarly, when there is a decrease in the circulating platelets, the level of platelet-driven thrombopoietin clearance decreases. This leads to increased circulating thrombopoietin levels, which signals the bone marrow to increase megakaryocyte growth. In the last few minutes, we have learned the following summary points. Platelets help maintain hemostasis. Platelets are formed from megakaryocytes. And megakaryocyte production, and hence the total platelet mass, is regulated by thrombopoietin. This concludes the video on platelet origins, which has improved our understanding of the role of megakaryocytes and thrombopoietin in platelet production.